वेलकम वेलकम ऑन ऑनलाइन वायरलेस मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव पिकिंग द न्यू सब्जेक्ट न्यू टॉपिक इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द आउटडोर प्रोपोगेशन मॉडल एंड आवर टॉपिक इज एकमा मॉडल एंड एकमा डेवलप्ड सेट्स ऑफ कर्व्स गिविंग द मीडियन एटोनेशन रिलेटिव टू द फ्रीक्वेंसी ए एम यू इन ए अर्बन एरिया ओवर ए क्वासी स्मूथ ब्रेन विद ए बेस स्टेशन इफेक्टिव एंटीना हाइट एच ऑफ टी ई ऑफ ऑफ टू हंड्रेड मीटर एंड द मोबाइल एंटीना हाइट एच ऑफ आर ई ऑफ थ्री मीटर दिस कर्स आर डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम एक्सटेंसिव मेजरमेंट यूजिंग द वर्टिकल ओमनी डायरेक्शनल एंटीना एट बोथ द बेस एंड द मोबाइल and are plotted as a function of frequency in the range of 100 megahertz to uh, 1920 megahertz and it's extend up to 3000 uh, hertz as a function of distance from the base station in the range 1 km to the 100 km to determine uh, the path loss using the akorma model from the direct formula which is already we have discussed in the previous lectures this is the free space path loss model between the point of interest in the first we have to determine after that from the curve we have uh, taking the values of amu which is uh, having the two parameter frequency and distance between the transmitter and receiver as read from the this akorma curves is added to is along with the correction factor to account for the types of derain so here we have present the akorma uh, uh, graph it having the two axis two two axis one of the x axis is which is i mark as double arrow is a frequency in megahertz and the y axis having there the two y axis one is like first y axis is the distance between separation from transmitter and receiver and second one is the uh, y axis is it is a factor amu it is the correction factor amu which is used in this uh, Uh, graph by taking the akorma model in different cities here the frequency ranges is uh, from 150 megahertz to 3000 megahertz it is the extendable uh, uh, expanded uh, as a application from we have moved from distance 1 km to 100 km so there is a three factor first factor is the g of t g of t is uh, gain of uh, uh, antenna which is uh, uh, regarding to the uh, given the formula and here the two points are uh, given the height of the transmitter and the height of the receiver the height of the transmitter is around 200 meter in this curve and the height of the uh, receiver is 3 meter so there are the three formulas are written here which is correlated with the gain and the height this is the relationship between the gain and height g h of uh, t is, uh, is it is a base station antenna height gain factor and this is is equal to 20 log h of t e to the 200 and the range of this h of t e is uh, 100 meter to 30 1000 meter to 30 meter and the uh, there are the two values of uh, gain of the antenna uh, uh, antenna h uh, g h of r e mobile antenna height gain factor this is the mobile antenna gain factor mobile and this is our the uh, height of the base station this one is the base station this is the mobile station 
it, there is a two uh, sets of values one is uh, scale of 10 uh, log and another one is the scale of 20 log when the height of the uh, receiver is less than 3 equal to 3 meter then we took this this value uh, 10 log h of re divided by 3 and when the values of uh, lies between the 10 meter and less than 3 meter then we took the 20 log h of re upon 3 so what we do now we having the frequency along the x axis there is the two y axis first this this axis is uh, is a the distance separation distance in the dv and the next axis is the uh, amu and this amu is a medium attenuation attenuation factor this is the me median attenuation factor and it is also in dv so if we want to take the values suppose our values is uh, lies lies around 900 and we take the values as distance of 50 so we have draw the line over this 50 as and draw the perpendicular in this 2y axis so here at this stand where it touches the uh, 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 our values uh, around the uh, this values is amu is amu around come 43 dv which is from this axis the distance d distance d is 50 d is 50 and and 50 kilometer and frequency which i have taken here is 900 mega hertz this graph uh, uh, has uh, a, a, a slow response to rapid change in drain. Therefore, the model is great in only in the urban and the suburban area, but it is not good in the rural area. So, the measured data and uh, which here we have used, it is totally empirical. So, the path loss uh, is predicted in terms of accuracy is very simple, simplest. So, we, uh, we have taken this uh, model, Ekomura, is widely based on the measured data. And uh, in early days, the, the, this model is uh, uh, based on the empirical studies, but after that, it is in an uh, analytical uh, comprehensive measurement in 1968 and come with uh, uh, this graph. So it discovered that a good model for the path loss uh, was a simple power law where the uh, where the function of frequency antenna height and uh, the or we can say the frequency which ranges from uh, predicted in the uh, uh, urban area and suburban area where the distances is uh, 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 goes up to one kilometer to the hundred kilometer thank you very much